Hello, welcome back to my blog Edis English Literature. Today I am going to tell you the basic principles of understanding a drama. Drama is primarily objective art. That means the author hides himself in his creation. The author exhibits heroes and heroines as well as villains and all the characters in which he hides himself. The prime theme or the very voice of the author is being exhibited in all these characters but nowhere the author can be found. If such is the case, it is quite evident that if villain is a stronger one then hero would be a weaker one. The very balancing act is not possible if author takes either of the sides. So it is quite uh, evident from the dramatic artist or the critical point of view that author exhibits himself none in his dramatic creations. So objectivity in arts or ob objectivity in dramatic presentation is quite explanatory one and it defines that author tells his point of view or exhibits his point of view through multiple of characters and he is on the sole motive of creating a conflict. That conflict is the very essence of the drama. To a literary student or the students like who are having the first hand experiences of English drama or the drama in general, they will find it quite difficult that how the ideas are popping up and so many of the characters are saying so many of the things which is the right way or the which the dramatic creations or which the dramatic tension is the perfect one and how to understand them and how to decipher all the meanings out of it. And that confusion is quite uh, clear to each and every of the student that initially they can be uh, finding them hard to crack the very nut of in which he can exhibit or he can understand the very principles or the basics of particular drama. Now drama in origin can have its stress in each and every literature. In English drama the origin is from the Greek and the Greek Aeschylus, Sophocles and Euripides versions of those great golden period of Greek and that has been transferred into the other literary texts and in English too the dramatic presentation has been originated from uh, that original versions. Uh, later it has been matured through university widths and in Shakespeare it has yielded the greatest fruits of English literature and after several of years so many of the writers have tried their hands in dramatic acts and in dramatic presentations of the themes. So many of the authors from different ages, be it in English, be it in Greek, be it in Sanskrit, be it in any of the Indian languages and other languages have tried to tell their point of view and their presentation or the mode of presentation can be either of the mediums through poetry, through drama, through novel, through any of the essay, any of the prose writing or any kind of new epical presentation. So their writings or their creative presentations have the sole motive of telling the mind or reading the very pulse of the society of the then time and in that way he the person, he the very author or and his surrounding is being exhibited. 
एंड बियॉन्ड दैट एक क्रिएटिव आर्ज और एक क्रिएटिव एफ्लुएंस ऑफ दैट वेरी ऑथॉर्ट हैज स्टैम्प आउट दैट पर्सन टू बी एन यूनिक वन बट नान ऑफ द क्रिएटर इज बियॉन्ड हिज सोसाइटी और बियॉन्ड हिज पार्सोना बिकॉज ए ऑथर कैन नॉट हैव दैट ऑथर इफ ही और सी इज टू बी एलुप from that society or aloof from that family or aloof from that very persona what he or she is being exhibited with so while understanding a drama you must have to remember one thing the author the very dramatist and the society or the very personages which pops up in his drama represents a kind of a atmosphere or a place or a situation which is to be understood first while being an objective art drama that primarily it serves so is to be seen as a presentation of that kind of persona who is trying to hide himself within his dramatic art or his own likes or dislikes is not directly delivered to drama that's why it is an objective art but if we take a focus on that dramatic presentation or dramatic art you must have to uh, search for that locations where from the likes of the author can be found out and that likes of the author if found out directly then it is less a presentation and if that persona is hard to find out or author himself hides within his creation then it is a mastery of the artist but no where and in no position author can have that possibility of hiding the very society for which he is writing so that prime thing should be remembered first while presenting a drama one cannot be beyond the purview of the society or the social norms for which he is writing and the very social norms or the social criterion or the problematic features or the problems he faces or the dramatic situations of that century or a personal liking or disliking of a particular story seen through a particular phase of time is never beyond the understanding of the very lenses or the various uh, criterion by which that time purview or present that problem and if a new kind of vision or new kind of understanding is being deciphered or is being exhibited then the dramatist is having a point of view that is unique one and that is uh, quite epoch making one and if such point of view is not there in fact that drama should have been not a popularity till now so each and every drama that we pops up in us which is quite dramatically interesting it mean it means simply that it has told a some a some things or some bearing aspects of and that plight or the problems or the very likes or the very dislikes of that situation which is quite understandably forwarding one or understandably a feature that is beyond the purview of that social norms so the second point that you should have been uh, understanding while reading a drama that the drama tells something now you have to find out what it tells basically the fact is the presentation of that drama of that particular time is telling something and that purview or that point of view is quite unique and quite challenging and quite epoch making and quite pointedly hitting at something and that something to be understood by you now each and every drama tells so and each and every dramatic pattern tells so is not 
a so simply mystic the view but most of the drama tells so for example if you take shakespearean dramas you will find each and every drama telling a particular view of elizabethan test so shakespearean dramas tell something about elizabeth and that elizabethan taste or likings or the understanding of the elizabethan period is quite possible from shakespearean dramas the renaissance element if you can find out in marlovian writing is quite possible that marlow read his society marlow's renaissance awakening or the time that recon the new learning a uh, new aspirations is quite exhibited in marlovian writing so in the time sentimental drama when it has been written um, their point of view is quite the likes of the society so whenever we pass through the different ages of the dramatic writing we will view that society as a mirror the very aspects the likes dislikes and the very the very parallel inflow of the river of thought can have its panoramic view in drama but in that drama a particular problematic features or a something new has been stated through dramatist and that newness is the very uniqueness of the drama and the dramatist and that has to be read and that has to be deciphered by you to go through into the entirety of the drama different ages has gone through different types of dramas and in many of the ages there are different practices of the dramatic presentation in different modules earlier in the drama and uh, there had been divisions of five acts there had been plenty of times to watch and the drama had been the sole entertainment of the time so time had not been the factor and the dramatic presentations or dramatic acting and uh, all such things were, were rather uh, modeled for the purpose of the artist at that time the great actors uh, had been a few of the passages even written for the great actors to act for so dramas were written even for the actors even for the audiences a few of the scenes even changed for the likes or dislikes of the very audiences because audiences were the soul of that time of the drama later the drama has been minimized to three act later further into one act so the presentations or the mode of the dramatist had been the same but the time frame and its module had been changed in three act play or in, in a play like that of the jar of tragedy comedy tragic comedy or the sentimental comedy or the problem plays or the one act play or the poetic dramas all these presentations were in that device that uh, the dramas or the author has chosen that kind of pattern that suits him best to, uh, to make his point of view clearly for ts eliot he has been a author from core and a critic from heart and that critical observation to poetic medium is best exhibited in the westland and that point of view is quite parallelly expressed in his dramatic presentations uh, murder in the cathedral in in eliot uh, from shifting to w yates even in james singe you can find poetic expression or poetic presentations uh, in a dramatic format in in shakespearean there is a mixed prose and poetry presentations in shakespearean part the poetic presentations of the blank verse is quite unique and quite appealing in for granted in the problematic play both the accents or the very poetry 
or the very presentations of the witty dialogues, everything has been wasted. Only the theme had been the prime. The social problem had become the focus. Take for granted justice. Also, this justice makes a point of view of the social norms. What is justified and what is not. Again, for modern great dramatists like that of Bernard Shaw, he takes the class of his ideas as a drama. The ideas and its logical presentation, its anti-romantic presentations, and its uh, point of view that has been deciphered in such a way where the points of view and its ideas are the prime, even the characters are minimized, becomes the subject of problem play. Take for granted the avant-garde or uh, the theater of absurd that takes the view of the society in its new light. The nothingness or the non-existential uh, philosophy or the psychological drama, it all becomes a new awakening of the understanding of the human mind or the human condition that is the hero modern man. Taking all the characters together, you will find a tragic character that is called modern man. The plight and the very scene is modern city and which is dejected and a waste. And the same person of the wasteland is like that of a the modern city. And that modern city is being exhibited in so many of the dramas, dramatists in theatrical presentations of absurd drama or theatre of absurd. Dramas are still written. The romantic ideologies which has been hammered out by problematic play, anti-romantic dramas, the sentimental dramas, and its protest of the sentimental dramas to several of the goals of this play, Goldsmith play. But somewhere, somehow, the epic poetry is still surviving. The poetry or its presentations or the medium of the language of the modern man or the man itself or the character itself has changed a bit. But somewhere and somehow, the poet survived. And in many of the dramas, the artistic device of telling the facts or telling the actions has become artistically unique by each and every author. Even in many of the prose, you will find many of the poetic ethics. In many of the poetic ethics, there is a parallel inflow of prose itself. Take for example, uh, James Singe, Radas the Sea. The, the entire parts the entire dialogues are written in Aran, Aran local dialect, but whole of the dialect is like that of the flow of the music. The word choices, the sentence structures in every pattern. So taking this all into account, we can say that drama have its changes through ages, different ages, but all these changes Primarily does not mean that the basic structure of the spine of the drama has ever changed. The spine of the drama tells it something. It tells the author, it tells the time he, he is presenting and he tells a particular of a change. And that change he sees or wishes to happen or even that change that automatically happens. So as a student, whenever you take a drama, you must find out all these locations in the pages and taking all these dramas together before you venture even in a drama you can take a poetry and just pop up into the poetry only by understanding a little bit of the author's life but when you just going into the drama you must have to enter into the life of the author the dramatist at the time he writes about and the time he is telling the very facts or the dramatic accents that primarily happen or the time frame he tries to exhibit in the drama and how that time if it's if the time frame are different 
if someone is telling an old how that old story has been devised and represented at that period of time that's you should have to understand first so with this view and with this acknowledgement that you should better understand drama in your course of studies you can proceed further ask me any questions regarding the understanding of a drama or, or any doubts or any counter argument with my view you can just pop up any questions here i will try my best to answer or discuss like share and comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to get all these topics in your inbox thank you bye bye